Hey everyone, Trina here. Today we're going to talk about using Marabou crayons and I've got seven ways for you to use them. These are the Marabou art crayons and they come in a ton of different colors. And I love these markers um, because they're really juicy. They're kind of like a lipstick. They're super creamy. Um, you can use them in so many ways. Um, so the first way, we're just going to lay some color out and this is just smudging you can just smudge around the pigment and it's pretty easy to mix with other colors um they do mix well together dry well not wet i guess it's, they're not really super dry they're, it's more of a creamy pigment so you can see i'm adding in some green and we're sort of making this brownie color in there you can also add in some white and that will give you a tinted down color um, so that's the dry technique another thing we can do is that we can lay down some color and we can um, blend it together with water uh, so here I'm adding the, the pink and the green now this technique tends to not work if you are it works a little bit as you can see it's just getting really muddy um, just blending them that way but if you blend them first you can get some really cool washes so that's another way to use the work I don't tend to blend them like this I blend them individually so we're gonna call this one wet third way that we can achieve some interesting techniques is to add the crayon to some matte medium so here I am putting down some color on this piece of styrofoam and then mixing in the matte medium which is going to give you a pretty light wash of color and this really um, makes it a bit more transparent and depending on how much of the medium that you add Another way that you can use these is by adding in some white acrylic paint. So here I have my Liquitex white paint, titanium white. I'm just putting down some color and then I'm going to mix this up with some of that white paint. And this is something you can do on canvas or on paper by just painting or drawing into the paint with the Marabou. And now I'm adding in some water and making it a little thinner. So you've got this really nice acrylic wash and it blends really well with acrylic paint. So these are the ways that I use it most is by mixing it with the paint to just give me a variety of different colors. So the fifth way that we're going to try and use these with a stencil and I've done, done this a lot so we're going to experiment with it here today so I'm adding in some more color I'm mixing this up with the paint and we're just going to lay down some of that acrylic paint um, marabou mix and then I also want to try just adding in over the stencil um, these stencils are really waxy so it's really hard to tell what you're going to get. Um, I have used a stencil like this before and it worked really well. And you can see that the acrylic wash was a bit blurry, whereas when I just scribbled on top, it was better. So I would say that the second way is the way that I would probably use a stencil. And it also varies probably on how big the stencil is. So the final thing we're going to try is adding a stamp. Um, this is the only stamp that I have, so I thought we would try it. Um, first attempt, not so good. So I'm going to add some water in to the stamp and see what happens. And not so good. It's okay, but it's not great. Um, you can see you get multiple pulls off that. I'm going to add in some green. And see what happens there if we get some sort of color not so good so 
I don't know that a stamp works. Maybe a bigger stamp would be better. Um, and I don't, like I said, I only have one stamp, so I'm probably not gonna use this very often. On this last one, we got a little closer. So these do stay open for quite a bit. Um, they're permanently dry after 12 hours. I, um, you can go back and try to re wet them. Um, it works a little, but not great. As you can see, I'm doing here and just get out your marabou's and play and have some fun. So thanks for watching. Um, and I'll see you in the next video where we'll do some actual painting. Uh, bye.